Okay, well, let me go over your report. <laughs> Let's go over it together, I, I guess is really it. Yeah, so it's how to get money and help to buy houses, fix up houses, or be a real estate investor, flip houses, all that kind of stuff. And what we have here is the uh, federal programs, local programs, county, city, nonprofit organizations, and also internet stuff. You know, and this is crowdfunding, shared economy, and stuff like that. Now there's two parts to this. This is the first video section, and then we take a break, and you'll see the second. The first is all the nonprofits and the uh, city, county, county, and federal programs. Then we get into the uh, other, you know, the website, the new economy stuff. That, that's the shared economy, and, and uh, peer-to-peer -peer and crowdfunding and things like that and that's just booming too and also these programs both of them are both sections are really aimed also at people interested in flipping houses and buying houses and uh, making money out of real estate business in one way or another now it's not for big-time investors because most programs well some of the government programs are uh, but okay let's go through okay we have an introduction video that's what you're watching now but then we got local programs okay now uh, this is like city and county mainly uh, programs and they have a mortgage assistance program when you're in financial trouble All right now this is happening a lot you know and actually this is a nonprofit organization that gets grants to help you get out of financial trouble you know uh, so you don't face foreclosure that's the biggest thing with the government they don't want anybody to lose their house <laughs> you lose a house and they sort of lose a taxpayer maybe that's their mortgage uh, their thing okay here's how to get two thousand dollar grant in your savings account for your home i mean actually this is a matching kind of grant program they put in money and if you put a dollar in your savings account they'll put in like two dollars three dollars four dollars and, and this is a program from the same organization nonprofit. now here's a local program your your community action agency that's a program man you should just check with there particularly if you're low income or having somebody uh help with low income and by the way what people call a low income i mean surprises me that could go up to fifty thousand dollars a year as a family of four so it's not people that are desperate Institute, <laughs> kind of thing. And they have all kinds of programs here. Ownership programs, reverse mortgages, housing rehabilitation, that's fixing up a house, lead paint problems, uh, rental assistance, utility assistance, all these kinds of programs. There's a, they're a good first place stop, you know, particularly for the low income uh, kind of stuff. Also, they have, they have an interesting program there, free temporary ramps for accessibility problems because of, you know, like you broke a leg or a hip or something like that so you know you can't get out the steps anymore so they have these temporary ramps yeah <laughs> that, that i guess you borrow them you know so that's pretty cool uh also fifteen hundred dollars to help pay the rent see it's a good place to turn to when you need emergency money stuff like that oh, okay also legal services man if you're getting involved with real estate or, or yourself or you get screwed about from some organization and we're going to cover a lot more of that uh at the at the end of the next video but here is real legal help by people either give it for free or a sliding scale so check with them you know you, you need a real lawyer for something uh, now here a lot of people forget about their public library man you can't forget these people <laughs> they solve these kind of problems that you have all the time people are calling them for help so and they do the research you know these research librarians I've, I've worked in research libraries really when I first started out in the business like 30 years ago I went down in Florida and worked as a uh, uh, a research librarian there for free you know it was fun that's how i spent my summer vacation yeah and that's the richest library in the world because that's where disneyland is and uh, they get a whole bunch of money uh but yeah use them and they also have what's interesting about you're looking for free money is they have two publications or if they don't have them they'll tell you where to get there's because there's two online publications by the foundation center and the foundation center is the people who collect information from foundations these are these big organizations you know uh that they're private organizations not public i i i you know mostly deal with uh, uh public organizations and on the internet but these are private organizations that give out funds and they the one database just for individual grants there's ten thousand of them and they sell that thing like for a hundred bucks a year or something like that and then they have another one for that have a hundred and forty thousand organizations that give out grants you know 140 now this is the mother load particularly but it's for not mostly nonprofit organizations but if you're involved in that or or you want to get the individual one which has ten thousand contact your library they'll tell you where to get it for free so you don't have to pay like the hundred and forty thousand uh um 
organization database, man, that's like $1,500 a year, you know, so it's silly to pay for that because you don't know what's going to happen, you know, if you get lucky or not with one of these places. So you want to use it free. I mean, that's what I, I always use the free one first. And interesting about these uh, nonprofits, these foundations, they don't have websites, like 90% of them don't have a website. So that's why you can't, see Google, everybody thinks, oh, everything's on Google. That's nonsense, man. <laughs> you know, the things that you're gonna find on Google, the things that charge you money, because it almost takes a lot of money to make sure you know, people find you on Google because there's so much stuff there. So people spend money and advertising and all this kind of stuff to make sure you find them. So they have to get money back from you. <laughs> so the free things like what I have here, nah, they don't do any of that. You know? <laughs> so you have to find them. And that's what I try to uh, service. I try to provide. Okay, housing council. Anything you do with housing. Okay, thinking about a housing. You know, you have a problem or whatever. Call these people first. Make an appointment. They're free. These are experts. You know, in housing programs and, and also people with financial problems that get grants. They don't work for the government. They're experts in the industry. They get grants to help your problems for free. So if you Google something like this, you're gonna get people wanna charge a lot of money. That's silly, is it? I have videos here. See, this report I'm sending you is full of videos. Man, you got dozens of hours of videos here. You wanna get deep into one of these subjects, like here on these experts, you can watch the people. I go around and interview these people, you know, to make sure they're doing their job and stuff like that. Okay, and, and here's also the Department of Agriculture, you know, your county cooperative extension service. They have a similar kind of thing. And so there's a link for them. And I show you a video of someone for that. But check if they have that. Okay, your library. Remember I told you about that? Uh, uh, oh, no, that's not like I'm sorry. This is... <laughs> this is for veterans. I just saw county and I thought a library. Uh, uh, so this is the veterans. Now, if you're a veteran or no veteran, you're a relative of a veteran or, or a spouse or family member or something, man, use these people to get money because they get 100% more money than anybody else who gets it. <laughs> they're just amazing. I mean, and they're free. They're another thing like uh, I mentioned earlier, the people who get grant money to help you get the money for free. Wow. <laughs> So here's the government paying somebody <laughs> to make sure you get more money <laughs> when you go apply for it. You know, it's like if General Motors and their car dealers had a little store across the street and, and told you all the secrets about how to <laughs> get a better price from that salesman across the street and they were being paid by General Motors. Uh, yeah, this is the government does. That's what my, I, I never try to understand why things are there. I just want to show people, hey, they are there and maybe they'll be helpful for you. Okay. And have a video there of that uh, free professional help on anything in, in your real estate or, or that will generate income. This is a service that you want to flip houses, you want to, you know, even be a freelancer, you want to be an Airbnb person or, or, or whatever. You have any kind of problem that you have problem with, you know, financial problem or, or accounting or marketing management or money that, that in some venture that's going to generate you income for you you could be an artist you could be a lawyer anything and you need help with that these people will do it for free man they're management consultants that work for free you know you, people will charge 100 200 bucks an hour for this kind of stuff but if you know where these are you get it for free and so here's the listing for them make an appointment see them there's a video you know it's almost about an hour video they tell you man these people are great they tell you all the stuff they do for free okay 211 man if you don't know about 211 man never forget it now this is a database that is so much better than google because everything in this database is free google's database is going to charge you everything you find there is going to be charged this is a database of really nonprofit organizations uh government offices and everything that give out their stuff for free you know and you'll see like here i i i did uh and it's a phone call too see that's what's neat you call them you can't call google <laughs> even if you're spending millions of dollars with google you could never get everybody on the phone <laughs> but here you can this is a phone it's old old school kind of stuff and that's good because you don't know what to put in See, that's a problem with Google or this or any kind of database. You know, they're, they're computers. They're looking for exactly the same thing. And, and, and if you're off by a, uh, a digit or, or whatever, or, uh, you know, not the same thing. It's just things in your head, but you have to think of what's in the computer head and nobody else knows that except the computer. That's why people who use it, 
you get them on the phone and they know what will pop up for different words and what, oh, this is your problem, then this is what you should put in the computer. Or they'll tell you the places that will help you because they're doing this all day long. Okay, and you'll see my sample there. I go to Google and I put in mortgages and there's 127 million, that's right, 127 million websites you'll see if you put in mortgages there. You know, and here, if you put in mortgages, you only get 360. Okay, and each of those 360, and this is actually a, a western, southwestern Pennsylvania, I think it is, uh, but just a section of Pennsylvania, uh, and every one of them will not charge you money. Every one of them, you know. So they're the people you want to fool around with, not the 146, 127 million people. So that's the kind of stuff. Legal help, you see there's 819 people for legal help. Utility bills, 233 people for utility bills. You know, and that's that's the kind of help that's out there. You know, I mean, imagine if all the lawyers knew there were, you know, how many was, you know, 800 free people giving out legal advice, but they want to charge money for. Okay, free cell phones, I bet you didn't know that. You know, and this is income dependent. So you got to check all these programs, what, what the income requirement is on this. And you get free, 500 free minute, minutes per month. Here's another one with 350 free minutes a month. And, and here for landlines and cell phones, you know, for free. And then discounts on the monthly uh, on that one. Uh, so check them out. Here's $100 to $500 to pay your utility bills. These are nonprofit organization grants from Columbia Glass Gas to repair or replace furnaces and water heaters. See, the utility companies feel guilty, you know, <laughs> that you're gonna be cold or hot in the uh, summer or something. Like that. So they got programs like that too, besides the nonprofit organizations that I listed there. Uh, uh, programs to help pay your people's gas bill. I guess you guys know people's out there. Discounts on utility bill from Penn Power. Grants to pay utility bills in Pennsylvania. Grants to, uh, at home, uh, oh, at home internet for only Nine ninety five a month, you know, plus computers for one hundred fifty dollars. Okay, that's a discount. Again, that's income dependent. Okay, let's go to the state programs. Lots of state programs here: buying houses, fixing up houses, sixty thousand dollars to pay your past due mortgage payments. Wow. I mean, that's incredible to me. Okay, $6,000 grant for closing costs and down payment, $15,000 grants for closing costs for people with disabilities, or $2,000 grant uh, a year on your mortgage. This is an extra money that you know people don't know about, or save $2,000 a year on your mortgage. Uh, $10,000, no interest forgivable loans. This is the only place I've seen where, where people give forgivable loans. Why the hell don't you just call it a grant? Well, <laughs> they want to say that because they want you to stay in the house for a few years. Uh, so you're not just flipping them. That's right. You know, if, if you want to flip a house, well, well, find one you want to hang around for a while. Uh, or maybe there's a two unit kind of thing and you could get the whole thing. I know in New York, there's even up to four units you could use these programs for. Here's $8,000 down payment money, closing cost money from your boss, your government, your your employer could join a program and then they get money to buy and, and fix up a house. So you can live near where they work, low interest and low fee mortgages, stop uh, state supported home mortgages for homeowners. I mean, look at all this stuff. No insurance, low insurance mortgage loan. I mean, you know how they make you pay insurance when you have a loan? Nah, you don't need that because it's a government guarantee. Why the hell are you buy insurance? Everybody's after money. And if you don't know what the hell's going on, well, you know, you just do it because you don't know any better. Two programs to refinance at low rates. That's right, refinance. That's what you should be doing too because there's a lot of new programs for that. And I'll show you in the federal program. Okay, $10,000 loan with 0% interest, no payments, you know, to modify your home. There's people for dis uh, with disabilities. $15,000 uh, fix up money to be part of your mortgage. So you bundle that in with your mortgage. So when you're buying a house, you, you get the 200,000 or whatever the heck it is. And then you get another $15,000 to fix it up. You know, and, and that's what they're for. See, this is all, you know, with the government stuff, it's better than dealing with the banks. And now you probably have to go through a bank, but they insure it. So the government is nicer than anybody else because they're not working for Wall Street like all these other people. $35,000 uh, at affordable rates to fix up your home. $35,000 to fix up your own, $25,000. Low interest rates to put in a se septic tank. Utility bills, uh, fix a heating and cooling system. Grants, uh, grants make your house more energy efficient. Uh, 
Okay, independent counseling for reverse mortgages. A lot of seniors are thinking about reverse mortgage. You see all these advertisements? You see advertisement? That means you're, they're making a ton of dough out of this thing. So that's why the government, you know, when they gave the industry permission to do these reverse mortgages, you know, what happened, you know, the slick salesman come in and convince you need, you need this or you're going to never get to heaven. <laughs> I mean, they figure out any way they can to make you buy. That's the name of the game for a salesman. They think about it every day, every minute of every day of their life, you know, how to get you to buy something. And, and you just think about it once. You know, oh, I think I'll get a reverse money. So you, you don't send a chance against these people. You know? So that's why these people are set up. They get grants to help you for free to understand the whole thing before you say yes to any of these people. Yeah. Uh, real estate, a property tax exemption for disabled uh, veterans or $650 property tax rebate for owners and renters. Yeah. List your property and find affordable homes and apartments. Right. So see, the government has so many places you can put your property you know, on and, and then it, it meets certain requirements too, that they can, uh, they'll pay the rent for your the people who rent it, so I mean that, that's a cool deal. A lot of people actually that's how uh, Donald Trump made his money. You know, uh, with low income uh, properties like that, his first million dollar deals in Cincinnati was with a government property. You know, and, and that's what he brags about in his book. I remember reading it years ago. <laughs> so that's why everybody's living off these things. List your property. Uh, local banks that give out. Grants to put in your savings account. This is a list of grants and uh, uh, banks in Pennsylvania have this. Contact them all because if you put in a dollar, they're going to put in two, three dollars. Man, you can, life doesn't get better than that, <laughs> does it? Okay, let's look at federal program. Okay, this is the thing. If you have a mortgage now, contact this 800 number, okay? See if you're eligible for something because I have so many new mortgage plans now and, and the banks know about them. Everybody's trying to sell you, but you know, before you get tied up with any of these people, know the facts. Know, know what you're after and from some somebody who's not there to just sell you something because unfortunately no matter how, how nice you think they are <laughs> they have one thing in mind they got to make that sale you know and, and so you and you don't stand a chance uh, with salesmen I don't nobody does because they know the buttons that push they've been doing this 24 hours a day and you do it once you know it, it, it's like coming to a fight and you have a knife and they have a bazooka, you know? So these people that I'm giving you, they don't get paid. They already got paid, you know? And they get that money whether they help you or not. So that's why, you know, um, I think a better place to start. 50% discount on homes. That's for certain people. They're like, yeah, how to find them. Homes for sale. You know, those goodies because they're, they're, the real estate market is starting to pop again. Uh, single family housing repair loans and grants in Pennsylvania. This is really rural areas. Uh, single family housing direct loans, you know, for, for housing in rural areas. And they're uh, loan guarantees. Okay. Now, the, you know, the next portion, I'm going to stop now. You're going to, the next portion will be all this other stuff. And you'll see the crowdfunding, how people are, are using this money, you know, in crowdfunding uh, to, to flip properties. I mean, you know, people will use crowdfunding to, just to get down payment money or, 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 or you get, you know, you have trouble paying anything, you know, and, and it's wonderful because they don't care about your, your credit rating or any of that stuff. So stay tuned and watch the next half. Okay, now let me go over some of the, let's say, non-government money sources and the non-money government sources <laughs> for housing. Okay, first is is peer peer-to-peer -peer loans. I mean, everybody knows that you know the traditional loans. You know, you go to the bank and and you know to give them money to lend to somebody other, you know, money, and they make a lot of money. They make middle, and if you go to the bank to borrow money, you get charged a lot, and if you go to the bank to save money, <laughs> you don't get much. So that's why these peer-to-peer -peer loans that are now popping up on their website, man, I think this is going to revolutionize everything. Not overnight, but it's growing. I mean, there's billions and billions of dollars now here, uh, and it's a place to get money without with cutting out the middleman. In other words, so if you go to a bank and, and put in a dollar or something, they're only giving you like 1% nowadays on, on your money. You know, and then if you go to borrow, they're charging you 10, 12% or something like that. So now on these peer-to-peer -peer loans, what happens is that uh, 
individual just go to the website and, and lend money to people, but in mass, so that you get a hundred people lending you ten thousand dollars or something like that. And so they're getting three or four percent, and you're only getting charged like four, five, six percent, seven percent, or something like that. So that's right, everybody's winning you know, except the fat cats on Wall Street who the investors in the banks, you know, and it makes it just a lot more personal and everything. So that's why I think there's a lot of reasons why this is going to grow. So I got some of the more popular ones. A lot of them, these are for businesses and things like that, for small businesses, large businesses, and, uh, that people use them, individual loans. Uh, and see, what's neat about this stuff is that it, it, it's so much easier. It's faster. Yeah. And also here's the banks, you know, for community development, uh, financial institutions, these banks are banks, but they're friendly community banks, like the old ones in the movies, you know, what was that movie with Jimmy Stewart, you know, <laughs> uh, where he had a little community bank and everybody was borrowing money from them and the bank was going to go bankrupt and everybody's going to lose their house. Well, that's how these banks work. You know, they're involved in the community, not, they're not invested because of, you know, they have to uh, make people on Wall Street happy. It's the community. So that's why they're friendlier, they're nicer, they're lower interest rate. Okay, also you can make a lot of money from your home from the shared economy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you read about this, but this is really taking over so much of our, our world now because of the internet. It's a way people are using the internet to do things themselves, make extra money, cut out middlemen, you know, nothing's traditional anymore. This is why more people are earning money, you know, part-time on the internet and stuff like that than traditional jobs now, it seems. And that seems to be the way things are going. And they're piecing together different kinds of income. Well, now with a home, that's, that's an asset. You become now a capitalist because you own a home or even rent an apartment or anything. You could act like a capitalist <laughs> and make money from the fact that you own a home, not just your labor, you know, or you're at a home or you have a place, you know, and one way is through Airbnb. I don't know if you know about this. This is like instead of hotels, people are using Airbnb. This only started like five years ago or so, you know, and, and now they're they're a bigger company than any of the big hotel chains. They're they're probably the most valuable company. That, <laughs> they're more valuable than any hotel chain. They're something like $50 billion now. It depends on who you count, some like 40 or whatever. I mean, Hyatt Hotels is only like 13 billion. But see, what's interesting about Airbnb, they have only like two or 3,000 employees. Hyatt Hotel has like 130,000 employees or something like that. Yeah. But Airbnb, is making money for like a million people and now i've read like a million and a half people so it's a way to make money like we make a bunch of money off our apartment that we have in washington dc just because we have an apartment you know we put on airbnb and see these platforms take care of everything you don't have to worry about collecting money you don't have to worry about insurance you don't have to worry about marketing they do it all you know and it's amazing and so now it's sort of like becoming a uh entrepreneur with training wheels or something like that you know? it's a great way so now because you have a home you know uh, you have an extra room you can make money I mean, people are making five hundred dollars a month or whatever you know, off an extra room uh people are, are putting tents in their backyard even and renting that out uh, actually it's called airbnb because, because people started with an air mattress in their living room renting that out yeah and, and so there's all ways to make money look at that i got an article there about how to use it or, or how to be an airbnb host or how to how to get money it costs you nothing to try see that's the other thing none of this stuff now costs any money to try to make money at. That's what's neat. Most of these, you know, schemes or whatever that were on the internet and everything, they wanted money from you. That's how they made money, was getting money from you. You know, here it costs nothing to try. And you only give them a small percent after you get the money. And they collect the money, they check out the money. You know, they do all, all the hard, you know, uh, nonsense stuff, you know, that most of us don't like doing. And that's why this is growing so fast. Okay, then another way through pets. Pets is another way. And I'll show you how to I do that. People make a hundred thousand, I mean, a thousand dollars a month or so extra because they have another puppy around or something like that for a few days, you know. And, and because there's a growing business in the pet business, there's a website shows you how to do it, you know, and, and, and just sign up and see, sign up and see what happens. You know, if you have room, you don't have to be a house owner. Uh, you know, you can be a renter or an apartment renter and do this. 
Make money from your parking space when you're not using it. That's right. Just park. <laughs> People, space. I mean, that's a you're you're like a Wall Street fat cat making your money make money. So here you can make your assets make money. That's what's neat about it. Or right, here's one for pet lovers. There's more about pet lovers. Or have people over for dinner, right? And make money. People from out of town love to have local people. You know, and this has now become a big business. So if you like cooking for people, <laughs> you can make money at it. Have friends over for dinner. It's not thousands of people like you know a bus drives up to your house. You know, a nice couple or two couples from yeah <laughs> from somewhere you never heard of <laughs> have dinner with you, <laughs> and they're happy to spend money. <laughs> That's it. Now here's another thing: is crowdfunding. That's another thing. You know, to make money, um, and I'll show you soon in real estate. But but it's used for anything, anything. This is now one of the biggest things. That's up to thirty-four billion dollars or whatever they're given last year, and it costs nothing. You don't have to pay the money back. It's free to do. See, that's nothing. All this stuff is free. No income requirements. No credit check. You know, you keep the money forever. No complicated business forms. No business plans. No lawyers. No accountants. All this stuff. When you go out and try to get money for doing anything, that's what you usually had to do. It's fast. You know, and there's no fat cat gatekeepers. Nobody saying, "Say, well, you can't do this." You know, and nobody's going to buy this. Nah, it doesn't matter. You go on the crowds, and the crowds tell you, and it costs nothing to do that. So you know for sure, you know, uh, and you don't do it until they give you the money. Now I have a, I have a video there shows you how to set up a, a website. You have to remember it costs nothing. Some of these websites only take 20, 30 minutes to do. I have samples of people do this. You know, uh, startup money. They get like a half a million dollars, and they don't even need a product. No product. Hey, I'm gonna do this. You guys interested? <laughs> and if they say yes, they give money, and then you collect enough money. Okay, I got enough to do it now. I'll come back next year, send you the product. Well, that's crazy, isn't it? I mean, would you go to Macy's and have them <laughs> walk in? Here's money. I'll be back next year and pick up the product. That's what people are doing on the internet. Why? Doesn't matter why. It's there. <laughs> you, you're looking for a way to survive. This is a tool. These are all tools, tools now in our society. There's dozens of people here. I show you my videos. Here. So I've interviewed like 700 people have done this. Yeah. Uh, also, now you could use it for buying a home too. Crowdfunding money. Now here I have some articles. What I did is I took articles that are out there that I reviewed and everything. Uh, they seem a good place to understand how to do it for for buying a property, fixing up property, and things like that. How doing it. Then I show you. Uh, websites that are just for that. I mean, the major websites, if you heard of like Indiegogo or um, uh, GoFundMe and places like that, you know, they're not specific for, for housing, but these that I show you are for housing. So that's sort of interesting. You try both. I don't know what works. Nobody knows what works. You can ask all the advice you, you want, and, and until you try it, you really don't know. Okay. And also for investments, people want to flip homes. That's a big idea nowadays. Well, crowdfunding you could use for that. People are doing that now. Even the the, the big time, you know, flippers or whatever. <laughs> flippers. Wasn't that a TV show or something or <laughs> whatever? And uh, uh, they're using it because it's a new way. It's a faster way. It's a better way. <laughs> it's a fun way to get the money you need instead of talking to some stuffy banker. You know, uh, and that's what they have a video of, of a woman who runs one of these sites. You know, that people use for flipping houses and things like that. A couple articles and like, and then I show you other websites that do that. Do that. Now another thing that people really meetups. Meetups are very popular now. You know, that, that people get together in groups and talk about stuff or whatever. Well, now I mean, you go to any city. I mean. There's a hundred. They're, they're like AA meetings, <laughs> but they're for everything. I mean, you go down. Uh, uh, I did it for your city. I did one, and and you just put in like business and uh, careers or something, and you'll see dozens and dozens, depending on the city, how many there are. And find one for real estate investors. There'll be one. There'll be two. There'll be a dozen. There'll be twenty. There'll be fifty or whatever. And just show up. Man, eh, it costs twenty dollars for a cheap meal or something like that. Yeah, you know, and that's it. But you find other real estate investors. If you don't know about this stuff, what you're probably doing is going online and and searching Google, you know, and looking for how to invest in real estate or something. And, and you'll get some huckster like me who will try to sell you something. <laughs> and you don't have to do that. Yeah. You know. And why? Because then it's. Painful. It costs a lot of money. They have courses now, thousands of dollars worth. Donald Trump was selling them for like twenty thousand dollars or something. How to invest in real estate? You go to a meetup, <laughs> and actually, by the way, he started his whole uh, empire with a. Uh, 
uh, government property in Cincinnati. Yeah, <laughs> the ones I showed you about up uh, uh, earlier. And and so you could go to these groups and find out how other people are doing it. Then you have a friend who's in the business, who's doing it, other people like that, that could help you know exactly what's going on in your area because they pri probably already tried it and failed. So that's a better way to learn. You know, than spending thousands of dollars on, on some course or whatever, and, and who the hell knows what you get. You know, <laughs> Trump's getting sued like hell out of these things. Yeah, I mean, all that. I was involved and I saw this stuff happening, all these get rich quick schemes. <laughs> you know, it just takes effort, and the knowledge is there. Uh, and it's just putting it to work and trying and trying and trying. Oh, here's another thing it's fat cats, angels. And you could go, I mean, what's neat about the internet, too, is that it, it, it's getting everybody in a barrel. So all these fat cats that are out there want to invest in stuff, they're now all online. They're looking mostly, most of these websites, I'll show you, like angels.co, uh, they, they they're looking for companies or techie stuff or some kind of small business going. But real estate, I'm sure they'd be interested. you got to find somebody. But at least you have, like here, for your state, you know, there's over seven, you know, there's four or 5,000 people in your state, fat cats, interested in investing in ideas they're right there. Wow. I mean, they're, uh, all their contact information is there. I mean, before when I was growing up, you had to you know, belong to the country club or something like that to find uh, help like this or, or get in touch with these people or beat on them or whatever it is. And there's other websites that have similar kind of thing. And then here's what I put in. This is where, you know, government offices that, well, they don't give out money, but they can get your money back. Yeah, you know, because so many people get screwed nowadays. You know, uh, people who don't treat you right and stuff like that. I mean, uh, or you don't know your rights, and everybody thinks you have to spend five hundred dollars an hour or two hundred dollars an hour, whatever lawyers cost anymore, and you know to get justice, but you don't. You could get the best attorneys in the world to work for you for free. You just have to learn the system, and they're there, and they have to fight for you. That's what they're there for because they regulate that industry. So it's the cops. See, every business, everybody has cops that they have to report to, and you find those cops, and they come down, and even if you, the customer, are wrong, they have to investigate anyway. So uh, uh, that's what's thing. So you have power in the system this way. Otherwise, if you don't know about this, you have no power to me. Because you have to spend, you know, five hundred, a thousand, two thousand dollars on a lawyer to get back at somebody. Because they'll just say, "No, I'm sorry," or whatever, and get a letter from their lawyer. And and their lawyers, even if you get your lawyers, are going to be better than your lawyer. You go, they do this all the time, you know. But nobody's good. It's sort of like you getting a letter from the IRS that you owe them you know, seventy five dollars. Well even if the IRS is wrong, you'll probably pay them, right? <laughs> Just to get it off your back. Well for business it's the same way. You know, the insurance company gets a letter that you they owe you five hundred dollars or you say they owe them five hundred dollars. It's cheaper to pay you the five hundred dollars than to talk to that bureaucracy for the next three months or whatever the hell it is and possibly lose and, and be fined or be thrown out of business. They have too much to lose by screwing with the government. It's easier to pay you off. So banks are that way. Real estate brokers are that way. You know, insurance companies are that way. You know, even lawyers. Yeah, you know, <laughs> there's even a pot of money. You know, in your state capital for lawyers who ran off with your money. <laughs> so we all that. And then how to check for any uh, any professional. And then also there's a, a national bill with the Federal Trade Commission that uh, you could get, if, if bill collectors don't treat you nicely, you could get $1,000 from them. That's right, get $1,000 from them. i show you how to do that. Oh, you could, it's something you could threaten from. You know, when they say, hey, do you know you're violating the law? And, you know, here's the law, look it up, and here's what I'm going to pursue. And then I show you how to get free research help on anything. Now, Google is a, a, a problem. It's good, it handles a lot of stuff, but you really have to know exactly what you're looking for. Like up earlier, we talked about, you know, you put in, uh, mortgage debt, and you'll get 170 million websites or whatever, and that's why um, it's just overwhelming. You don't know exactly what to ask for. Now, it's great if you know what to ask for. You're looking for Matthew Lesko. Right? <laughs> then you could find everybody like me. But if you're looking for money to solve a problem and you do that, then Matthew Lesko will probably find you because if I spend a lot of money on Google, I want to find people who have that question. And I'm going to spend a lot of money on Google because I know I can maybe get money from you. See, and that's what Google's all about. If 
it's a place to spend money. If you want to spend money doing something, Google, because everybody who wants to get money from you spends a lot of time and energy and money trying to figure out Google, how to make sure you see them when you go to Google. Yeah, so that's what those first two videos are all about. Uh, and then I tell you about 211.org, uh, the organization I list up in, 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 above. This is, I mean, these are wonderful because this is a database of all nonprofit and government offices that solve problems. So nobody in their database will charge you a penny. Wow. And I, I call them the second best in the, in the world because I feel I'm the best because I'll show you a lot more because I understand more of these things <laughs> yeah. Yeah. than they do. Uh, uh, but this is a wonderful source. And I turn to it finding something and checking things. So even on reports, if I, if I miss something or whatever, they don't have a lot of stuff I have. because I, I, could, I somehow have a knack of taking something that they give and they don't see how it can be used for some reason, like houses for a dollar. You know, they used to call it the Urban Homesteading Act. You know, so if you saw Urban Homesteading Act, you would know what the hell it was, right? It's a house for a dollar, right? <laughs> so, okay, your local library people don't for, yeah, forget about that. That's wonderful. They'll do research for you. They know experts, particularly local sources for money and help. Uh, and then your elected official. Watch this video there we have on on how to use your elected official because they are the most important source that we all have and they'll work for you for free they want to do this for free because if they help you with something you'll vote for them no matter what they do you know <laughs> they get caught with their hand in a cookie jar and was, as long as they got you a fifty thousand dollar grant or something you'll still vote for them probably <laughs> and they know that this is why they stay in business all their staff is aimed at doing favors for constituents, people like you who are going to vote. And they want to do that. And they have special access to government offices that you and I don't. You and I have to go in the front door. These people have a backdoor phone number to call because the government office gets paid from the congressmen and senators, the elected officials. That's where they get their money. They don't get it from us. We give it to the government and then Congress decides how to spend it. So that's why they keep everybody in Congress happy. So they, they'll, they'll answer a question and solve the problem a lot faster from them than they were with you or me. That's just the way the world works. <laughs> may not be right, may not be you know, justice or whatever, but that's what it is. And it's a system we all have access to it no matter who we are in this country. And that's what I'm trying to do is make sure everybody knows what's available and how to use it because if you don't you're going to go on google and think that's reality when it's not man there's so much there for us all if we just start using it